First off, tell me your name and title. Uh, Steve Turrentine. I'm principal at Our Mercy Middle School. How is that being a principal, um, first year principal, I do believe? Yeah, yeah, first year. It's it's great. It's a great place. I, I love it here. Um, faculty been, it's great faculty, great community. And so I'm excited about being a part, very proud. What's been the toughest part so far? Um, just kind of getting used to everything. You know, it's, uh, I always had a, when I was coaching, I had a, a head coach one time tell me it's all, everything's always different when one seat up. And, uh, and that's kind of the truth. It's, it's just a lot to kind of get used to, to get, understand the budget part of it and understand the, um, just the ins and outs of, of every day. So, uh, getting, getting better, getting used to it a little bit, but it's, uh, it's been, it's been a learning experience, but it's been good. You know, you're a young man. Um, was this your goal from the start to become principal? Um, not really from the start. I have been doing this about 22 years now, and um, probably after about <clears throat> 10 years or so, it was something that I knew I'd, I'd like to look into going to administration and that kind of thing. But at the time, I loved coaching and enjoyed doing that. And so when I decided to uh, to go into administration, things just kind of had worked out for me to where I was able to, to get a, an, a, an AP job at Model Middle fairly quickly after I got my my leadership degree and, and then from there <clears throat> was there for about nine years and then was able to come here. Um, what's been the toughest part that you really didn't, you know, you knew it would be tough but you didn't yeah. realize how tough it would be? I think it's just the, just the, just the daily of, of making sure things, trying to, trying to, trying to make sure the, the students are taken care of, the teachers, the parents and, and keeping that, you know, that communication piece in place and um, and just the day-to-day -day things, just kind of, um, you know, when I was AP, I could just focus on one my area, but now trying to make sure everything is, is going smoothly and, and the way it needs to go is, has been kind of the, a challenge. Been in education um, for so many years, has the, has the economy really affected as much as people say it has? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it does. It affects us, it affects us personally because we're having furlough days and, and you know, we've got to do what we got to do. If we weren't doing furlough days, we might have to do something uh, we may have to lay off uh, more teachers or lay off teachers, which fortunately in Floyd County we haven't had to, to do that um, much at all. And uh, so, but we see it also with uh, with parents. You know, we see it with more more students are riding buses now instead of parents bringing them, which is uh, um, it's, it's a little bit different. Buses are crowded and and that kind of thing. But um, you know, we see it with. Uh, we see it on day-to-day -day things, mostly, you know, mostly like I said, with the faculty, and we'd love to be getting more teachers in, but but we're just not at that point yet. Besides being a principal, tell me something about you. Well, um, a lot of people may know that I do the. Um, I work with uh, Kevin Daniels and Dan Houston doing the uh, Friday night scoreboard on during uh, football season. So that's always a lot of fun working with those guys and uh, and. Uh, Get to stay in a little bit with coaching and get to stay in a little bit with football, so it's that, that that's fun. What is it about? Are you, are you from Roman Floyd County? No, no. W I, where did you? I grew up. Well, my dad's a Methodist preacher, so we kind of we kind of grew up going a little bit everywhere. And uh, but I went to school at Lakeview Fort Oglethorpe. That's where I went to high school. Um, we ended up. I ended up coming to Shorter play baseball at Shorter at that time Shorter College, and just basically stayed from there. Met my wife there. Um, and we've lived here ever since. What was it about Rome that you said, you know, wow, this is this is really where I want to set it's up? It's really home. kind of funny because when we first got here, when I first got here, it's kind of like, Ugh, I don't see me staying here. <laughs> you know, I didn't think it would be, but after we uh, after we both graduated and decided to get married, and it was a, uh, it's just a good place. It's it's I love the I love the location. It's got that small time small town feel, but. Um, and we just we just build a lot of good relationships here, and, and uh, couldn't imagine being anywhere else.